Hello fellow Kerbonauts, it's Ninja here and bringing you guys another great episode of Kerbal Space Program version 18.2. Now, version 18.2 came out on December 20th, but I didn't have much time to play Kerbal Space Program or uh, look at it because the last time we played this, it just there was just way too many bugs in order to do the stuff that I really wanted to. I couldn't go out into space, it would take years, real lifetime years, just to get out there. I'm not kidding you, it's like, it's like 365 days <laughs> just to get out there. I couldn't, I couldn't fast forward at all. So I was pretty mad about my, that itself. But uh, then the update came out and uh, they added some other things. The spaceport link is now out. The new uh, website for mods. Um, they added. Uh, I played a little bit actually, and I'm going to get that into it. Or I'm going to get there in a second. I did a lot of ahead of stuff just so we didn't have to re uh, rewatch all the stuff that we have already done. Um, but I added some mod packs actually. Um, Actually, you know what? We'll get back to the mods later. Uh, right now, Ooh, yeah, this is where we want to be. All right. So before I get to I show you my Kerbal Space Station, my brand new one, uh, there's a new uh, there's a new planet. It's called Elu, and it's 113 billion 113 billion meters away. And it looks like this, like an icy, icy. Basically, it kind of looks uh, resemble its Pluto, well, ice Pluto, but not really that. Um, it's kind of cool because what happens uh, with the with the ridges is when the planet gets really close, you can see its orbit is not circle like everything else is. <laughs> it's actually an oval shape. Yeah, see, this point right here is closer to the sun than this point is. So every time this one this one gets closer and closer. What happens is it heats up, and then as it goes away, it it freezes back up again. So it causes that that um, that markings that you see in real life. That is, which is quite nice because uh, in real life, the orbit around the sun is not a circular motion. It's an oval shape, so it's not circular. Like some of these are actually basically circle. So it's it's quite nice that it's an oval shape. Hopefully get more stuff out here actually. Get more planets. Um I don't think it has any any moons, any planet. Yep, it's 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 Elu. It's, yep, no planets, no nothing. So I really, really actually I really want to get out there, really. I want to travel to Elu. Um I actually want to travel to Jewel. I really I haven't been to Jewel. I haven't been to Darice. I've been to Duna. I've been to I haven't been to Dries, Jewel, or Elu, and I really want to get out there. Um, but I'm just I'm having so much fun with the uh, with the uh, with the docking um, station. Ooh, 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 ooh! Oh, I've been to Eve too. Sorry, guys, I've been to Eve too. Even uh, Duna, but I haven't been to Dries, Jewel, or Elu. Um, oh yes, yes, yes. I want to talk to you. One major bug that's still in here that wasn't really a major bug is the docking procedures. Um, when you went to go dock, uh, when you were in the docking feature, none of your RCS were on until you click your WASD shift or control button. But now, if you have it unlocked, it keeps on going. It's like it's like when you hit RCS, it stables your ship when you're in motion. So that's implicated on it so it's really hard to I uh, to tell if you're going forward backwards left or right or top to bottom or you know all the, all the angles you know up and down you know because if you're not fi if you're in the opposite direction every other key is the opposite direction that you're going to so it gets very very confusing uh very hard so i think i hope they fix that because uh, it was perfect before then and now it's not so i just don't understand Alrighty guys, uh, I'm going to wait for that. I want to explain the space station later. What I want to go through is I want to go through all the parts. Uh, I got the dev marks from, uh, I got the dev marks because I really want to do something with it. I really do. I think it's, I think it's an awesome, um, an awesome uh, rover uh, to explore things. And they have like the living quarters and everything. So pretty, 
pretty excited about that. We have the TS TSE TS oh sorry, excuse me, I had a burp. I just had dinner. Uh TSE escape pods. Um so there I haven't tried them, but I really want to add that into to the planetary ship that I'm gonna build. Uh mostly off camera uh, no, I'm gonna build that on camera because I built something off camera. And frankly, it took the whole entire day in order to do. I'm not kidding, man. It it, it took a long time to get it up into space. So I'm gonna try it those. Um, I got these drop tanks. So, like for spacecraft and stuff, I can I can put it underneath, and then I can drop them, and they just go dink and they drop down, kind of like real life, you know, with the jets and then dink. Yeah, you know, they drop them off. So it's quite nice. I'm quite excited about that. Um. Oh, I got these. I got capsules. Um, I may use them for like a fuel source or something. I don't know. Uh, I really, uh, I thought of something actually good, but for the brackets, the brackets don't fit them. For the big ones, so I was quite depressed. Yeah, these are only for the small ones. There's no, there's no big ones in order to hold the big ones. Just the small ones. So I was quite mad about that. I was quite mad about that indeed. Um, what else did I add? I didn't add much. Uh, oh, I added these. Um, okay, it's 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 manufactured by Wayland Corp, and uh, I have to say, he's one of the top mod people I've ever. Oh my, he just makes the coolest mods ever. Yeah, look at that. It's a quad thing. I I could do it for this, so I could basically put this rover underneath and have this, and have equal equal uh, pressure, so I could drop it and nothing will get in the way when I drop it and then that can like launch off or something like that out of the way maybe and then I can have my rover sitting out there so interesting thing and then this thing oh boy 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 ah this could be awesome a 15 meter station core look at that bad boy here I'll um I'll place it down so you can see what it looks like yeah and then what you can do is you can add these pawns Yeah, I don't think you can add them to them. Yeah, you can add them here, but that's basically all you can do is just put those things, and then there's your station. So here's another station that you can have. I don't know. We got we got some sizes. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Yeah. So you have your five your st structural ring. You have your 20 meter, uh, 10 meter, and then your quad. Uh, quad coupler which is quite nice actually it looks quite nice and you know just a regular those stuff um now there's one mod that I am in love with um, because you know me I like to build things big gigantic structures so I like to put them all into space and it just looks awesome that's my dream uh, I needed something I had to I had to find a mod that allows me to avoid the wiggling. If you watch all my other episodes, when I started constructing ports and things, I couldn't really connect a struct to one end to the other because I had to build it into pieces. So I couldn't hold it tightly. So I had to find some way, somehow, in order to avoid that uh, wiggling. And I'll show you it. Uh, I've already put it up into space. It's a uh, thousand by a thousand, or hundred, or hundred, a hundred k by a hundred k. Exactly a hundred k by a hundred k. Uh, I got pretty precise about that. Um, and it's, it's some quite stuff. I avoided uh, all the shaking and everything. Uh, I got some gravity bombs. These are some nice. Uh, let me zoom in and I'll show you what they look like. But yep, there were gravity bombs. <laughs> One way trip. <laughs> yeah, they look awesome. I decided I wanted them. <laughs> we'll probably do some bombing episodes or something, you know. That's the chassis that we can do. Kind of goes like that. And then, this is the one thing you want, is the Dev Mark II Living Quarters. And what this implies is, this opens up and there's this like little ladder that comes out, and basically you can put Kerbals in here, and they Alrighty, welcome back. Sorry, my computer, once again, overheated, just for recording and playing and uh, downloading another game that was on Steam for free, that you guys will probably see again, but... 
yeah, my computer's gonna have to go in, so it's gonna be. I won't be able to make videos for a couple days, but enough about the the downers. Let's get back to the task at hand. All right, so I showed you all the mods, showed you what I have, showed you what they do. Not really showed you, but what the what they are and what they do, but not really have showed you what they actually do, the physics aspect of them. Mm, mm, mm. So I was drinking. One more thing. The original rockets, they had it on. Um, I downloaded a mod that added more sound and um, special effects to it, so it looks cooler. So on three, I'll uh, I click the button and then you guys will see what I make. One, two, three. All right, and this is my Kerbal Space Station 2.0. Dun, dun 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 Oh yeah. Here it is guys. Oh yeah. So it's pretty big. I mean it's huge. Uh as you can see it's one stage, two stage, three stage, four stages. I had to dock them all up separately. Uh debris. I'm not happy about that debris actually. But it's getting farther and farther each rotation that we go around, so it's all good. Cause that was at 20 something, and now it's at 20 or 42.4, and that was at like 3, and now it's at, yeah, see, 8.7, 8.8. So it's getting farther and farther, which is good. We'll just keep on getting farther. Just, just keep on going, keep on going, you know. Alrighty, guys, so this is Kerbal Space Station 2.0 because the first one sucked so bad. So as you can see, the, the blue things that you see, these are the quantum struts. As you can see, they go through and they go in the other thing, and the other ones. I added them on both sides just to make sure, but if you want to add it on one side, you don't have to have them on the other side. They just automatically connect. As you can see, there's other ones. There's another beam right here, getting a little bit closer, but there's another one that goes from here down to here, and it goes down here, and you can see it goes here, here, here. So it connects here again. And if I didn't have it in, and I just had a regular stretch that connected from here to here, this thing would be wobbling like no other because I had one that was about this long, or about this long, and it was wobbling like I've never seen anything wobble in space before. So there's no, and I repeat, no wobbling movement whatsoever. You can see a little bit, but that's just that's just that's that's normal. I mean, it is it's pretty big. So I uh, I made a mistake when I did this. Um, this wasn't supposed to be here, and this wasn't supposed to be here. Um, They're just supposed to be regular docking ports. So I kind of messed up on that, but I decided, what the heck? Oh, and then these weren't supposed to be here either. But it's all right. So um, it's going to be like the idea that I got it off was the the International Space Station, where it has the beam here. And the middle goes out and out and then beam and then another beam just like this and it looks basically kind of like an H. I think. I can't remember. But I want to make it look nice. So my plans are these are the two power station or power stations. So I have electricity 42,405. So we're all good. And what's going to happen is that it's going to extend out here. And then that one's going to extend out here. And then I'm going to have uh, probably maybe three quarters the height here, so it's going to extend. It's going to have a, a basically this and a half, so it extends out like that. Between here and here is what it's going to be. And it has to be pretty long because in a second I'll show you the folded out all the solar panels. They are freaking huge. I added the big ones, not the small ones. So it looks pretty awesome. I'm quite sad that I couldn't uh, line up all this stuff. I'd have to eject it and then rotate it. And it's just quite difficult. Uh, but I'm just going to have to live with it with my OCD. So see they're not lined up as it is. But it's alright. But this is what it looks like when it's all folded out. From the top view. I'll get it from the top view. But yeah, it's supposed to be like that, like that, like that. And then that, that. That. So it's supposed to, it's, these are supposed to be aligned with that, and this is supposed to be aligned with that. But it's all right. Uh, it won't bother me. But that is with all the panels extended out. 
So it's quite nice. I do like it. <laughs> they're, they're pretty awesome. My favorite space station ever. Um, by far. Um, so it's only been 15 minutes, so... Um, I want to test some things out. Let's... So yeah, that's my space station. Or my space station. Alright, let's go to the space plane hangar because I'm going to try out the bombs. Possibly those. I'm going to try out those. I don't know what I want to do with those, but... I want to build some planes. Let's build some planes. Yeah, because I want to dock with the plane up there. You know? You know? Okay. It's supposed to be a new... Eh. No. Is it here? Load. Saved. Tiny land. I think this is... Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, I do like this lander, actually. It looks quite nice. I'm pretty... I'm pretty shocked about it. It has... <laughs> It's a very nice design, actually. Um, very beautiful. Very beautiful. So, I'm going to use that guy. Actually, I may put decouplers on it <laughs> and make it... Oh, uh, Yeah, I have I have ideas for that tiny lantern. Alright. Um, there's one thing I was looking for. I don't know what this. I added Megjeb... Ooh, I added Megjeb for... Um, for information purposes, mostly. Yeah, I used it for um, information to know how much stress to weight ratio I have. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna have to add some electrical struts to that. Um, he had a, he had a cool design. It kind of looked cool, but I can see some serious flaws with it. Uh, if you ever hook anything up to this, it's going to be pretty bad. Uh, it really is. Oh! Dragged it a little bit too far off the screen. <laughs> Alright, what else do we got? I know there's one thing. Two stage defender. Station core stocked. Um. Uh... Yeah, with just this, that design right here, not so good. It's not stable. Um, yeah, I think that was it. All right, I want to test out. I want to test out the bombs and things. So I want to make a. I want to get. I want to make a good space plane. Um, let's add him. Let's add a nose cone, and then let's add avionics. All right. Uh, we need advanced SAS modules on these things. We need... I need... RCS fuel. And... Oh, wait. Before I do any of that... I want to do that. And I want to add these. And then I wanted to go RCS. SAS? No, RCS! Come on, Taylor, what are you doing? <laughs> Wake up! Wake up indeed. Alright. What the heck? Whoa. I guess I can do that. Might as well. <laughs> I guess make it compact even more. Interesting. Never knew that actually worked. Okay, I really want to test these out. I really do. I want to put these underneath the dang tank and or a wing and like so. I need to design. Um, I need to think of something. So I'll be right back, guys, and let me let me check out this design real quick before continuing. I need to think of something. Be right back, guys. Alrighty guys, I think I got a nice design going here. I didn't want to complete the whole design and not show you uh, some building aspect of it, so I decided I wanted to show you, but uh, I got a little bit more done. Uh, a little bit more than I, I wish I'd like to get more done on it. 
Um, yeah, that looks fine. I need more fuel, though. That's that's the scary part. Um, where's my fuel lines? Apparently, it's in fuelant. Oh well. Okay. Um, I got those. I want the drop tanks, though. I'm gonna put a couple drop tanks here, here, and here. I'm gonna have three of them. It's gonna go bing, bing, and bing. So I kind of wanna maybe do something cool, you know? It looks like a jet fighter. Um, but I'm looking for one thing. I want to lower it down. Actually, you know what? Maybe not. Maybe I don't. Okay, so we got. So it looks like they look like they're all the same size. So I need multiple of these. But as you can see, I have to rotate them myself, and I don't even. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna consume a lot of fuel. Pretty hard to guess how much. Yeah, that's a better view. Nope. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. I hit the wrong key. Ugh. Darn. No. Forgot what key it is. So it's this key. Uh, why don't you want to go straight? Hmm, don't know. I'll find out in a second. <laughs> Dang it. Come on. Hmm. Why are you being a dork? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, 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 yes. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> dang it, oh, dang it. I had the right, right position where I wanted to. Dang it, I hit the wrong key again. Oh, I taped these keys. Yeah, there we go. That looks... Yeah, look... Oh. Dang it, really? Oh, oh, oh! Yeah! Oh, that looks nice. Look at that. Look at that. It's looking like a jet fighter now. Like tanks underneath it. And then I can put another ones right here. Just don't know where. Oh. 
It seems like this tank is getting in the way. Oh, grrr. Um. All right, guys. You know what? I'll be back when I when I fix this. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I'm back. So I finished it. I got them all. I got them dropped. So I got eight, eight of them. So I hope that's it's nice. I called it F22. Might as well, right? I guess. <laughs> Might as well call it an F22. All right. Save and launch. All right. Flag it now. There we go. All right. Good. Okay. What? They got lights now. They have no... They have no parking brake, though. Ha! <laughs> That's interesting. Oh! 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 Wrong gear. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. Let's take off. Looks like you can steer pretty good. Do we have enough? Do we have enough thrust? Should put some McJeb on there so I can so I know how much thrust I have. Oh, look at the moon! Go straight towards it. Nope. Looks like I have to add that engine on there too. Yep. Bad engine. Oh. That was loud. <laughs> Doesn't look like we had enough thrust, did it? Launch. Okay, we're gonna activate the and then use those. So, let's see if we can do that. I don't have much fuel actually. Okay, we're getting more speed, but <sighs> are a lot harder to make. Just a lot harder. I want to get one up. In, I want to get one up into the. Oh, all the tanks dropped off. Darn it! Because <laughs> they'll run out of fuel at the exact same time. What? Apparently a brake set are locked. Interesting. Restart flight. Okay, we're gonna try one more. Hopefully. That would be the brakes. They're off. Okay, there we go. What the heck was all that for? Should have been. <laughs> I mean, that's 200 thrust right there. Plus 60, that's 260. Not even that allows us to get to where we need to go. Come on, come on. <sighs> no 
not good at all. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to spend a little bit more time on this bad boy. See if I can't get this dang thing in the air. Um, actually, let's try one more thing. Okay, now this is our last time, and then and then I'll say uh, I'll uh, lost the beast. Full power. There we go. Break the. They're gonna have to fix that a little bit. Unless if it really requires a lot of thrust. No, no, not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Apparently, that's not, not it. Alrighty, guys. Huh. Alrighty, well, uh, thank you guys for watching my videos. I'm sorry it's been a while since I've been able to get some Kerbal Space for our videos out, but I managed to get one out, and it, it seems there's some still pros and cons, but a lot more pros than cons now um, in Kerbal Space Room, so it's all good. Alrighty, guys, thank you for watching my fellow Kerbonauts, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.